the first time they got me out of bed, put me in a wheelchair. Within half an hour, I was exhausted and uh, my balance had gone. I was scared. I was scared of the future. You know, is this what life is going to be? My dad was a builder and then he went to work one morning and fell through a roof. So five years ago, he was paralysed from his chest down, which changed everything for all our family. We relied on him maybe more than a lot of women would. Now everything's had to change. Initially, Jenny, she was, she was worried, weren't you, all the time? All the, about yeah. how, how I could cope. And to be honest with you, I didn't know I was going to cope. What my wife has to do now, because I can't do it anymore, is quite unreal. Mornings have got to be very organised. There's the medical side of it before the day starts. All his personal needs, his bowel care, then uh, he has to get from his bed onto his shower chair, yeah, yeah. through sure. into the wet room. Then when he's finished, then I'll help him get back onto the bed. The shower chair, yeah. There's a lot to it. Yeah. We're in a proper routine with things. Mm. Yeah. But it took a long time to get to We're that stage. Now, yeah. 40 years, Jennifer. 40 years. When you'd set them for better or worse, you know, we've had a lot of better, but no, it could get much worse. <laughs> you know, I can get fed up. Because, like I say, ev everything's changed for me. The main thing is, I just bloody... I love the bones of him. Yeah. My daughter lives across the way. As soon as my dad had his accident, we always said it'd be nice if we could get somewhere and all be together. Because we know then, in the future, when my mum and dad are going to start needing more help, we're on hand then, rather than having to think, oh, we've got to travel backwards and forwards to help them out. I've had some fantastic support from my family and friends. And I don't know where I would be if I didn't have that background of people to be there for me. That's down at uh, Reggie's. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah, just before my accident. I get frustrated about the things I can't do physically as an active person. I miss the idea of what I would be able to do with my granddaughter. It's frustrating. I miss the physical contact. I miss being intimate. I do. You know, I'm sleeping with her. Can't sleep with Jenny anymore because of, of medical reasons and etc. Isn't there? I do miss you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's mainly. And I'll tell you another thing, is driving a manual car. Driving to me is a major importance to my quality of life. That freedom to be able to go wherever you want, it's major. Well, here we are, destination. We predominantly did this stretch of the building. We did all these pillars that you can see in the arches, etc. But I laid all them bricks. I laid all them bricks on that pillar. You'll look at this job forever in a day. A long time after I've gone. I enjoy coming back here. I'm very comfortable and I'm very relaxed. And at the early stages of my recovery, if you like, it was one of the first places where I did venture out. Luckily for my dad, he's been able to find something new to do and find a new job. What I do now, I, I got, I'm invited to go around companies and talk about the consequences of an accident. You always lay your life in that chair. I've never done any public speaking or anything like that before, but it's the subject. I need to talk about life after an accident, the consequences of an accident, how it affects you and how it affects your family. I'd done safety management courses. I wanted dinosaurs stuck in the 70s. But that day, I took my eye off the ball. And I and the family had to pay the consequences of that. We're making the best of a bad thing. I'll use the word acceptance. I am paralysed now. Now, unless I accept that, it'll only get worse. 
So what do you do? Throw the towel in and get wet. Go stop in your bedroom for the rest of your life. Watch television, drink your scent into a stupor. Do you go down that road or you just try to be as positive as you possibly can? We're not going to let this ruin the rest of our lives. Thank you.